In 1575, Oda Nobunaga was one of the most powerful daimyos of Japan. His victory at the Battle of Nagashino meant that one of the major players in central Japan, the Takeda, were effectively neutralized. But the end of the Takeda threat meant that now there was nothing left standing between the Oda and one of the legendary clan leaders of the Sengoku Jedi, Usugi Kenshin. This video is sponsored by Raid Shadow Legends, a worldwide popular turn-based RPG set in a dark fantasy world with a focus on character progression, dungeon crawling, and looting. There is a huge number of unlockable characters across different factions. Recently, I've been having a lot of fun playing with Septimus from the Banner Lords faction. He can be an absolute beast in dishing out massive amounts of one-shot damage, and by recruiting more champions into your army, you can also unlock faction-specific missions, as well as challenge yourself in ongoing tournaments and compete with players from the raid community while fighting in tactically fine-tuned dungeons. Best of all, Raid Shadow Legends is free, so why not give it a try? Download the game using the link below and sign up to get one free epic champion, Jotun, as well as 100,000 silver. But hurry, the rewards will only be available for the next 30 days in your in-game inbox. Download Raid Shadow Legends and start your adventure. Uesugi Kenshin was one of the most gifted and colorful leaders of medieval Japan. Renowned for his administration skills and prowess on the battlefield, his many followers considered him to be the avatar of the Buddhist god of war, Bishamenten, thus calling him God of War. In all respects, Uesugi was part of the old guard of the Sengoku period. His rivalry with Takeda Shingen was legendary, and after many campaigns against Shingen and the Kanto region, he now commanded a battle-hardened, experienced army. At first, Uesugi Kenshin was allied with Oda Nobunaga during the days of his rivalry with the Takeda. But after Katsuyori's crushing defeat at Nagashino and his subsequent demise, Uesugi changed his policies and was no longer interested in being allied to an ambitious and expansionist Oda Nobunaga. In a complete U-turn, he severed ties with Oda Nobunaga and allied himself with Takeda Katsuyori. At this time, Oda Nobunaga was continuing his consolidation of power, fresh from his big triumph at Nagashino. During what would become a ten years long siege of a formidable stronghold of Ishiyama Honganji, he waged war against a network of fortifications, temples, and communities of the Ikoiki a confederation of peoples backed by a Buddhist sect that opposed the rule of samurais. Wanting to check Oda's expansion, Uesugi Kenshin allied himself with the Ikuiki in 1575. Now only a spark was needed to ignite the fire of war in central Japan once again. With Nobunaga tied down at the formidable stronghold of Ishiyama Honganji, Uesugi had plenty of time to plan and act against his powerful neighbor. The conflict between Oda and Uesugi finally erupted after a coup and a civil war that followed within the Hatakayama clan in the Noto province. A pro-Oda general killed Hatakayama Yoshinori, who was the lord of Noto, and replaced him with Hatakayama Yoshitaka, an Oda puppet ruler. Kenshin was not a man who deliberated for long and immediately mobilized his army against the usurper. With around 20,000 men, he intervened by invading the Noto province. Then he marched straight against the castle of Nano, which was under the control of Hatakayama Yoshitaka, and besieged it. While being under siege, Hatakayama sent urgent messages to Oda Nobunaga, requesting immediate assistance against the Usugi. Nobunaga's response was instant. He dispatched three of his greatest generals with a combined force of around 32,000 in order to assist the cornered Hatakayama. 
Amongst those generals was his future successor, the famous Toyotomi Hideyoshi, one of the three so-called unifiers of Japan. Nobunaga would soon arrive with an 18,000-strong contingent. But before his relief force was able to assist the besieged Hatakayama, though, Usugi Kenshin was able to storm and occupy Nano, apparently with the help of a traitor who opened the gates of the castle, but also due to a disease outbreak among the garrison that claimed the very life of Hatakayama Yoshitaka. After the fall of the castle, the Hatakayama switched their allegiance and joined Usugi. In the meantime, the Oda generals entered the province of Kaga and crossed the Tadori River with 32,000 men, poised to reach the Noto province when they were informed about the fall of Nano Castle and the switch of the Hatakayama allegiance. This meant that their whole strategic planning needed to be immediately re-evaluated. The Oda forces backtracked the way they came across the other side of the Tadori River and eventually merged with Oda Nobunaga's contingent, who by then had arrived in Kaga. The combined Oda army now numbered around 50,000 men, a formidable force for the period. Meanwhile, Usugi Kenshin, now with his ranks bolstered with Hatakeyama troops, advanced towards the Oda positions and encamped around Matsuto Castle, which was located in the immediate vicinity of the river. His army now numbered around 30,000 men. The two armies faced each other across the Tadori River. The renowned Uesegi Kenshin was about to clash with the powerful and undefeated Oda Nobunaga. For their contemporaries, it would have been fair to assume that whoever won this battle would have been the undisputed master of central Japan and probably the strongest warlord of the whole of Honshu, the biggest Japanese island. The Oda were planning to overwhelm the Uesugi with their long-range weapons and avoid engaging in close-quarter combat since the main bulk of their army was composed of Ashigaru. On the other hand, Uesugi Kenshin needed to find a way to close the distance with the enemy and bring the killing power of his veteran but outnumbered samurai army to bear upon his adversaries in close quarters. On top of that, choosing the place and time of the engagement at a river crossing would have been really tricky. The Grand Master Kenshin anticipated a nighttime crossing by the Oda army, so he made sure to provoke it at an opportune moment. During the night of November 13, 1577, Usugi Kenshin arranged his army in a way that concealed its actual numbers and arrangement, detaching a small contingent and sending it to march up along the Tadori River. It was obvious that the Usugi were attempting a nighttime flanking move. Nobunaga noticed the movement of the Usugi detachment and smelled blood. It was the perfect opportunity for his army to cross the Tadori River and engage his weakened and divided enemy as soon as possible. Oda Nobunaga ordered his generals to commence the attack by charging straight across the river and engaging the Usugi on the opposite bank. The vanguard of the Oda army, numbering a few thousand men, rushed across the Todoragawa and charged against the Usugi men, who were slowly moving to counter them. The Oda Ashigaru moved vigorously against their enemies, believing that they have caught them off guard. And so it seemed for a while, with the Uesugi men attempting to defensively hold their advance. While the Oda lines were slowly being reinforced by a steady influx of incoming troops from the opposite bank, the sound of men wading through water filled the plain. Suddenly, and with the front lines of both armies fully engaged, a strong current of river water came down upon the Oda soldiers. Hundreds of men were carried away by the torrent, and the rest were isolated, with the river now behind them, and the attacking Uesugi to their front. As it turned out, 
The Usugi detachment was a numerically insignificant decoy force that was used to fool Oda Nobunaga into attacking his lines. The torrent of water that created so much trouble to the attacking Oda was a further trick up Uesugi's sleeve, caused by the release of the river's floodgates, which was the actual objective of the decoy force. The remaining Oda Ashigaru stood no chance against the veteran Uesugi samurai. They soon broke and fled back across the flooded river. Nobunaga's casualties were reportedly about a quarter of his total force, while Uesugi's casualties were negligible. After his defeat, Nobunaga, in a state of shock, gave the order to retreat back into Omi province. His massive army was, for once, humbled. It would turn out to be his first and final loss. The clash at Tadorogawa turned out to be a decisive victory for Uesugi Kenshin, despite his inferior numbers. The legendary commander entrained a massive blow to Oda Nobunaga's reputation and confidence, and reminded him that he was not invincible. This victory further solidified Uesugi's newly conquered territories in Noto, and drastically shifted the balance of power in favor of the Uesugi clan. Kenshin, instead of directly marching against Kyoto, brought his army back into Noto province and ordered the repair of Nano Castle, as he himself went back into Eshigo. In October of 1577, Usugi Kenshin arranged to put forth a massive army in order to continue his offensive against Nobunaga. And then in 1578, Kenshin entered into a formal alliance with the sworn enemy of the Oda, Takeda Katsuyori. But it was not to be. During the spring of 1578, not even a year after his triumph at Tadorogawa, Kenshin's health had deteriorated significantly. After he had suffered a seizure, he lingered for 13 days until, on April 19, 1578, the legendary daimyo died, probably due to a lifelong habit of heavy drinking. Just before his death, Uesugi Kenshin wrote the following poem. Even a lifelong prosperity is but one cup of sake. A life of forty-nine years is passed in a dream. I know not what life is, nor death. Year in, year out, all but a dream. Both heaven and hell are left behind. I stand in the moonlit dawn, free from clouds of attachment. Special thanks to our friend Hawk S. Bellum for collaborating with us on this video. He also makes animated battles, so make sure to check out his channel. Credit goes to our awesome patrons who make videos like this one possible. Consider joining them to support our work. You can also support us by subscribing to our channel and clicking the bell button to get notified when our new videos are released. And as always, thank you for watching.